Hi everyone, my name is Donna. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to talk about cross stitch. Kind of my review for January, uh, what I worked on. Um, I got a couple new starts and then uh, some things that I purchased. So I will start with my new starts. I did do um, a new year, new day, new year's, new day start. <laughs> is that what it's called? Um, and I started, I've had this kit for a while. It is Stitch in Time by Mill Hill. So I figured that was a small project. Maybe it won't take me very long. This is how far I've gotten. It works up um, pretty quick, really, so not too bad. And then I found a frame. Um, I found this at a second-hand store, and I'm like, oh, that'll fit in there perfect. So when I get it done, I'm going to stick it in this frame. So there is that one. And then the other new start I had... Um, I saw somebody working on this on another YouTube channel, and I'm like, oh, I gotta have that. You know, usually I try to think about it for a while. Do I really need it? And I'm like, yeah, I need this one. It's by Letty Stitch, which is also associated with Luca S. And it's called Mermaid Kiss. And I got this off 123 Stitch. And I just looked recently, and it was on sale, but it was also sold out. So I guess everybody else likes it too. <laughs> um, it's done on 16 count. Like I said, it's a kit. So this is how far I got in January. I just love this. Um, I'm not sure... I don't know if somebody knows, but I am working on up in this corner over here. And see this? I'm right here. Well, I don't know what that is. Is that reflection off his back? I'm not sure. So if anybody knows what that is, let me know. But love 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 working on that one and then that was my only two new starts in January and then I worked on just a couple things uh, you know I do other crafts I crochet and quilt and all kinds of other stuff so don't always get a cross stitch but this is a Joy Sunday kit grandmother's cane chair So I worked on this quite a bit. Um, it's a pre-printed one, so I like pulling it out. You don't have to think too much. But that is where I'm at. I know it's hard to see, but I got most of this done over here. I'll show you the back. But there is a lot of back stitching, outlining stitch and that, so I am not looking forward to that when I get it done. Um, let me see, and the other thing I worked on was, uh, it's a full coverage kit, American Faith, by Cody Country Cross Stitch. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. I don't think he's in business anymore, or this company, but I think you can still get the patterns if you just search for that. So I have been working on that one lately. I've been working up here in this blue part, but that's as far as I am. See, and it's not very big, but it is full coverage. So, love that one. So pretty. Okay, that's the only thing, two things I've worked on. I am going to do in February, I think it's called Full Coverage February. 
So I'm going to pull out some, I'm going to keep working on that one that I just showed for a little while and then I'm going to pull out maybe three more and work on one a week. So um, the end of February, beginning of March, I'll show you what I worked on. Um, but for my purchases, I made an um, order from 123 Stitch and I got that Mermaid Kiss, Kiss kit. I got that. And then I ordered all the variegated threads, the DMC threads. So I've been um, bobbinating my threads. I've been trying to get a whole collection. Um, the whole DMC collection because as I start working on more full coverage um, I don't want to have to kit up every full coverage. I can just go to my main um, supply and just pull what I need. So, Okay, as far as um, other purchases I bought some kits off eBay. Um, first one is Dimensions Wise Owl Kit. It's this one here. I got all of these for a really good price. Just love that. So pretty. And then as I was, it was already opened, but everything is there. And as I was feeling it, I'm like, man, that really feels thick. Well, there was a hoop in there, a Morgan hoop. So I got that kind of like little extra bonus. Um, I also got Janelin kit. It's the Ten Commandments. It says even weave fabric, but it looks like maybe it's a 16 count, of course, which I like. But I got that one there. Very pretty. So I hope to start that one soon. And then the other one I got was a Bucilla kit. Um, Tending the flock. Again, I got really good prices on all of these. Probably ten dollars or less, but then you have to pay for the shipping. This one was already open, which is fine, but you know everything's there. The fabric, the floss, the pattern. Now this one is an even weave, so I'm not sure if I'll stick with that. I just it's hard for me to see even weave, so I might swap it out for you know, a 16 count or something. We'll see if there, I'll look and see if there's very many, you know, quarter stitches or half stitches or stuff before I do that. But um, I think, I think that's really all I have to show you. Let me look, yeah. So I started a, a new journal this year to keep track. Um, it's just a sketchbook. Just a small sketchbook. I got it at Walmart. It's like seven by nine, no, six inch by nine inch. But I just kind of drew my own lines, you know, put my stickers. I did put 2024. I put all my whips there. So, but this is for, you know, all my crafts. I crochet or whatever I'll, I'll write it in here what I worked on I also like to read so I write that in there too but um, yeah I think that's it that's it for January so thank you so much for watching and subscribing and everyone take care bye